In the year 490 BCE, the Persian king Darius decided to punish the Greeks for the Ionian Revolt, a rebellion in which the Greeks questioned Persian control. The Persians planned to attack Eretria and Marathon first, so that they would have a clear path to Athens. The Persians sailed and captured Eretria, then proceeded to sail to Attica, where they docked at a bay near Marathon. The Athenians, along with a small group from Plataea, marched to Marathon and succeeded in blocking off the entrances to the field. A five-day stalemate ensued before the 10,000 Greek hoplites finally decided to attack the 25,000 Persian soldiers. Callimachus and Miltiades, the generals who commanded the Greeks, had a battle strategy that they believed would give them favor despite the uneven numbers. They had the hoplites stand in a formation in which the most soldiers were on the flanks or the ends and the least soldiers were in the center. Once in formation, they all ran at a full sprint at the Persians, taking them by surprise and eliminating the possibility of the bow and arrow, which was the Persians' best asset. As they ran, the flanks moved forward and the thin center fell back. Once they reached the Persians, they began to encircle them. The cavalry, seeing their mistake, began retreating along with other soldiers not trapped by the hoplites. When the Persians started to flee, the Greeks made a crucial decision. Instead of chase their enemies, they turned to help their fellow countrymen fighting in the center. Once the soldiers were in close quarters, it became evident that the heavier Greek armor and weapons were superior to the light armor and weapons of the Persians. The Persian soldiers became very confused. Their battle tactic had failed, their cavalry had run, and their archers were useless in such close combat. They all began running back to their ships, but the Athenians, seeing they had won, ran to the ships and pulled some back to shore, slaughtering those on board. The Greeks sent a runner, Phidippides, on a 26-mile run from Marathon to Athens to declare the success. It is said that he arrived and spoke the words, Joy to you, we've won, then died from exhaustion. In the end, 6,400 Persians were killed, while only 192 Athenians died.